Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here guys. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I want to share with you my top 10 unisex fragrances for the winter time. Depending on where you live guys, uh, you might be approaching summer or you might be approaching winter. Where I live I am approaching winter. Winter here means uh, cold temperatures, so I need to pull out my heavy fragrances. I have gathered 10 fragrances or even more, I don't know, but we will call it top 10 because it's easier for the eye, you know. But I have gathered here some unisex fragrances that you can enjoy both you and your partner. These are heavy fragrances, these are performing in the winter times, so yes. These are for sure some fragrances that I will be wearing a lot this winter season. A disclaimer from the start of the video. Unisex, the term unisex guys is so uh, subjective. What is unisex for me might be feminine for a man. What is unisex for me might be masculine for a woman or vice versa, everything about that, you know? So take what I say with a grain of salt. If you know that you like the same fragrances that I like, then maybe for you this will be unisex. As a reference, I will try to uh, see if they're more feminine, like if they are more like unisex leaning feminine or unisex leaning masculine, you know? And I think as a reference, I will use Udmud by Latafa because it is a fragrance that we all have, or at least we've all tried, or like the majority of us have tried it at one point or another. And I will tell you if I find it that it leans more unisex, more masculine or feminine compared to that one. So guys, let's begin because I want to keep this video short and sweet. I will start with a classic for the winter times or if you ask me a classic for all year round I will mention it guys because I know that I have a lot of new subscribers here and I got an amazing feedback from the ones who bought this fragrance and I will keep mentioning it because I enjoy it, okay? So guys, the fragrance that I'm talking about Majda al Sultan Sweet, smoky, myrrh mixed with incense a touch of black pepper in the opening. From your feedback, it leans a little bit on the masculine side for you, but for me, guys, it still has that sweetness to keep it on the balanced, like balanced unisex, you know? I don't think this smells like a men's cologne, but okay, another disclaimer, guys. Usually, when a fragrance to me, like, okay, to me, I associate masculine fragrances with certain notes. I associate masculine fragrances with citruses. Or I associate masculine fragrances with citruses mixed with woody notes or with citruses mixed with wood, you know? Those to me lean very masculine. Like Intense Pepper from Montal. That one is a lot of citruses, wood and woody notes, a little bit of mossy touches. Those to me lean for sure more on the masculine side than on the feminine side, you know? But this one is a sweet smoky fragrance. Um, so this one for me is still a unisex. Check it out if you haven't had the chance to try it because it is beautiful. Now, when it comes to the performance, again, I feel like some of you say that this one performs amazing on you and then you can smell it the next day. Some of you told me, usually I get this one from men, some men told me that they wished this was stronger. So, for the women out there, especially if you're not really into these kinds of fragrances, you might find it more on the stronger side. You might be okay with like, I don't know, like four to five sprays of this one. For the man watching me, I think you will have to overspray this one, but it's such a beautiful fragrance and it lasts so well, guys. It lasts on my skin. Depending on how I prep it, I can get up to eight hours on my partner or up to six to eight hours, depends on my partner. He can get way more uh, from this one. This next fragrance, it is not my favorite one. I have to be very honest. I do not reach for it, but when it comes to winter scents that perform very well, I feel like I have to mention this one. Uh, because I know some of you actually enjoy it. Now, for me, on me, it doesn't smell good, guys, but uh, on other people, because I have tested this one on other people, on other people, it smells beautiful. This next fragrance is called Opulent Oud by Latafa. It's this one, guys. The bottle is very beautiful. I have the older batches. I don't know how this one is in newer batches, but I have those, you know, that come with like this sticker and nothing besides the sticker, you know. The new Latafa fragrances, guys, come with uh, the Latafa name here and everything else. I'm sorry for my nails, by the way, I need to, um, I need to get them done for sure. If you look at this one up on Fragrantica, you see it has some citruses, florals, wood, caramel, to me, in the opening, this is a little bit 
all over the place. Uh, you are smelling something for sure, but you're not really sure what you are smelling. This one has wood, uh, the wood is synthetic. Um, and how I would describe the wood here, it's pungent, guys. But the wood is stronger, is the strongest in the opening. Like if I spray it like right now and I leave it like 30 to 30 seconds to a minute on my skin and I smell it, you will get this pungent vibe. This is the wood in the opening. Um, because of that pungent wood, I think the opening can be challenging for some, but usually men, I feel like men could easily pull this one off. Women as well, if you enjoy stronger, heavier fragrances. Now, on me, why I say I don't like it? Because on me, it goes dusty and it doesn't develop as beautiful as it develops on my partner, for instance. On him, uh, from the pungent wood in the opening, it goes into a smoky caramel with slight uh sweet flowery nuances you know beautiful honestly i couldn't do a video in which i talk about unisex fragrances for the winter time without at least mentioning this one guys to me this is the perfect unisex to me this is a fragrance that i don't know i love it i know some of you don't and you find it off-putting some of you absolutely have fallen in love with this one uh, and i'm so happy about that but personally, I love it, so I will recommend it to you. I stand by this fragrance. I've mentioned it in a lot of videos, guys. Uh, and the fragrance that I'm talking about is called Oud Aswad by Swiss Arabian. This fragrance, guys, um, I have a dedicated review for this one, so I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about how that one smells. But this one is rose dominant. You have some slight... Um, aromatic touches to it you have this woody base and then you have wood you have touches of leather and then it moves into a uh, incense rosy fragrance for sure this is a chameleon this is all you need to know it's absolutely beautiful perfect unisex like perfect unisex oh see i forgot to tell you how they lean compared to wood mood so basically guys i would say Mashdar sultan leans a little bit more masculine compared to wood mood but still because it has the sweetness it's a unisex uh, opulent wood leans way more masculine than wood mood but if you really enjoy heavy fragrances and you don't have a sensitive nose you will enjoy that one it might lean a little bit more on the masculine side uh, when it comes to this one to me, this is the perfect unisex. I mean, I wouldn't say that this screams feminine or this screams masculine, you know. Not a safe blend buy, but then again, I don't know if any of the fragrances that I'm showing you today are safe blend buys. Because usually, guys, I like fragrances that are a little bit more challenging, that are a little bit more out there, you know, in terms of scent. So I don't know if for the majority this will be safe blend buys. But if you like fragrances like that I like, they will be safer for you, okay? Keep that in mind. Oh guys, and something else. I'm sorry, but I'm a bit all over the place with my thoughts in this video. When it comes to the performance, uh, for Mashallah Sultan, I've mentioned it. For opulent wood, guys, on me, on my skin, it goes for six to seven hours on clothes. It lasts for days, guys. This is a strong fragrance. This will project, the performance is not an issue. When it comes to uh, Uda Swad, again, all you need to know about Uda Swad is that on me it lasts an entire day. I spray it on my skin, I spray it on my clothes. When I go out it lasts the entire night, so performance is not an issue. So this next one guys is by Latafa as well. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful unisex leaning masculine fragrance from Latafa. Uh, I'm talking about Badi Al Oud or Oud for Glory. Yes, uh, most likely you've heard about this fragrance before. This is supposed to clone, dupe, clone, whatever, uh, Initials Wood for Greyness. Um, I have not tried Initials Wood for Greyness, but I do know that this is such a beautiful fragrance. This one opens up, very unisex, and then as it stays on my skin, the patchouli, guys, it's getting stronger and stronger and the wood it touches, so in the dry down it smells more on the masculine side, but I could still pull this one off. Now, to me, this is the fragrance that I would use like with an outfit like this, for instance, you know, uh, like with a minimal, minimalistic, minimalistic outfit, usually all black with like some statement pieces, you know, this is what I would use. Um, this is not the fragrance you reach for when you want to smell feminine, uh, but it is such a beautiful unisex fragrance. The opening, guys, I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, 
it, imagine you're having a fight, like the notes are fighting, you know, so you get a, a little bit of everything and it's like so, so, so interesting but so weird at the same time because you're smelling a lot but you don't know what you're smelling. After the fight, guys, like a few notes win, that is saffron, that is uh, patchouli, a touch of wood. This is on the stronger side, keep that in mind, this is on the stronger side. But I feel like all of these are, so I don't know how to describe you which one is stronger or not. But I would say that uh, I think men would appreciate this one more than we need. Um, it opens up very round, guys. So basically, how I would describe this one. Imagine that you have, um, like here in the middle, you have patchouli that's very earthy and a little bit minty. And a touch of green there. You have the patchouli and you have wood and you have woody notes. They are wrapped up in a veil of something that's transparent, sweet, and heavy on saffron. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense, guys. And basically, as you wear it, that transparent veil gets more, gets thinner and thinner, and you get to the dry down in which you smell the patchouli, you smell hints of wood, uh, and you smell the wood, you know. But mostly you will get the patchouli in the dry down. And the patch patchouli, guys, basically it smells like a darker version of mint. It has a minty touch and it has this grounding, uh, earthy tone to it. Now, I love it the most in the opening. I could spray this one again and again just to get the opening. I love the opening. I don't mind the dry down, but I love the opening more. It has a, a hint of sweetness, but I, this is not your sweet fragrance. This is dry, this is round. If you look it up on Fragrantica, you will see that it has lavender note listed. Lavender, guys, it can go really soapy in a lot of fragrances. I don't like soapiness in fragrances, but I feel like um, the lavender in this one gives it a slight aromatic touch, not the soapiness, you know, so this is good. The fifth fragrance that I want to show you today, guys, is another one that most likely you've seen a lot mentioned on my channel. Again, this is from Latafa, guys, because Latafa makes some amazing fragrances. Some of them are hits, some of them are misses, some of them perform very well for the price, guys. Remember, these are more on the affordable side, you know. Uh, well, some are like a complete joke, but with these ones that I will be showing you in today's video, these perform like performance with these ones is not an issue. And this is like why I've picked these ones up, you know, because performance with these ones is not an issue. So guys, the next one is called Kaid, uh, is this one guys. It's a beautiful fragrance. I would say that this one to me is the perfect unisex. But if you're a woman who's not familiar with leather, you will pick the leather note more than I pick it up myself. I love leather in fragrances. I am very familiar with leather in fragrances. So for me, this smells like, this is the best way I can put it. This smells like you're burning um, a spicy vanilla incense stick. You get the incense quality, you get the warmth, you get the vanilla, you get the spices. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Warm, dense, mysterious, strong, guys, and polarizing. You also have like some leathery wood touches. Um, but I don't pick them as much as I pick the instancy spicy vanilla quality. If you're a woman and you want a very unique fragrance for the winter time, this one will project so well. This one, guys, faces or can face the colder temperatures of winter, you know. Projection, not projection, performance is not an issue with this one. But I would advise you this, if you're a man, get it you will love it it's very unique uh, it will get you compliments i think it's very mysterious i personally find it sexy i don't know how others feel about it but it's something from latafa that you should at least try if you are a woman i would suggest you that if you want something that with these vibes by the way this is very unique if you want something like this get this one guys and layer it with something that's heavy on vanilla or that's like dominant on vanilla so that you give it this extra touch of femininity you know so you make it a little bit more on the feminine side i layered this one with uh, lalik satin also i layered this one with uh, golden sand by al rihab also yeah i think this is what i layered it with i used to layer this one with Muatar Rahab. beautiful combo as well if you want something even more sweeter even more like sugary caramelized vanilla i would say go for Muatar Rahab for her uh, but yes, beautiful fragrance, check it out for the winter. I don't think you can go wrong it's like it, as long as you like heavy fragrances. Now guys, with this next fragrance, I am on the fence because 
even though I consider it unisex. Some women that I have spoken with consider this one leaning more on the masculine side, so just keep that in mind. But for me, this is a unisex because, again, I told you that I associate masculine fragrances with those cold, citrusy, woody, fresh, aromatic, with those kinds of fragrances, you know? So for this one, this one for me is a unisex. Okay, so this is Red Tobacco from Mancera, guys, and this screams winter more than anything else that I've showed you, most likely. This screams winter, and to me, guys, this screams Christmas because it has this spiciness to it but like warm spices, you know, not the aromatic leaning herbs. About the performance, what can I tell you guys? I went shopping and I sprayed this one on my skin, a little bit on my clothes, and I wanted to spray this one on my jacket. And I kid you not, I did like three sprays on my jacket. And every time I walked past that place where I keep all my jackets, I could always get whiffs of this one. So the performance for this one, guys, it's absolutely amazing. If I put it, like, if I spray it on my clothes, it will last four days on clothes. So out of everything that I have showed you, I think this is the best performing so far. Uh, keep in mind, it's more expensive, you know, uh, but it's the best performing one. So if you're only looking for performance, check out this one. How I would describe this fragrance, guys, this to me, um, it's, very, it's a very interesting fragrance. In the opening, guys, you get a blast of nutmeg, but you don't get that nutmeg that you imagine to get, like that sweet dessert-like nutmeg. You get the smell of nutmeg essential oil, which is... It's not as sweet and as dessert-like as you would expect it to be, you know? So don't expect this one to be dessert-like, because it's not. This, to me, is a nutmeg, guys, patchouli tobacco combination. The tobacco you get in this one is like a uh, the tobacco you get when you to put in pipes, you know, like if, if you ever were around people who used to smoke pipes, you know what I'm talking about. It's that specific tobacco that's very dry and sweet at the same time and it almost has like some slight cherry undertones, you know. It's not the tobacco that you put to smell like in cigars or like cigarettes, you know. Yeah, to me this doesn't smell like cigars. To me, it smells like that tobacco that you use for pipes. Pipes? Yeah, I think it's called pipe. pipe. For pipe, guys, for pipe. Um, now, to me, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. Uh, this makes me feel somehow very cozy. This reminds me of Christmas. I don't know why. Maybe because it's about all the spices in this one. If you are scared about the wood notes in this one, I don't pick up the wood, guys. Basically, if you check it out, or if you look it up on Fragrantica, you will see that it has a lot of notes listed. Keep in mind, guys, at least for me, some I get them the most, the other ones are in the background as nuances, you know, to support the fragrance, basically. I get nutmeg, I get vanilla, I get patchouli, and I get tobacco. If I were to tell you what are the notes that I pick up the most, I wouldn't say that this is your instancy fragrance, or if you are looking for an instancy fragrance, I would say look for look further, look I would tell you to keep looking, basically, you know? This is not your instancy fragrance. This is not the fragrance you buy when you're looking for something heavy on wood. This is the fragrance you buy when you want something that smells like tobacco mixed with nutmeg and patchouli. <laughs> this is very sweet, but in the opening, I think the opening may be a bit off-putting for some people because, again, you to me, in the opening, this smells like straight up uh, nutmeg essential oil. Um, nutmeg essential oil, guys, it has like a... It has the specific note smell of nutmeg, but it has like something that's very sharp, not fresh, but like sharp, a little bit herbal, can I say? Fresh herbal, like citrusy herbal, I don't know how to describe it, especially in English, but in the opening it has it, so it might put you off a little bit. Do give it a few minutes, that one tones down, that not herbal, but I, I don't know how to call it, that aspect tones down and you are left with such a beautiful fragrance. So guys, when it comes to this next one, I want to show you the OG fragrance and I, want, and I also want to recommend you some dupes or alternatives because this one is very overpriced, especially for what it is today. Uh, the fragrance that I'm talking about is called Black Orchid by Tom Ford. I have uh, the 2017 version and the version that's being sold today, it's nowhere near the version that was being sold a few years ago. Even 
prior to the 2017 one. I smelled Tom Ford Black Orchid from like, I don't know, 2014, 2015, and it was so strong, guys. Now, unfortunately, yes, they have uh, reformulated it. They, they've diluted the fragrance. This one is still beautiful, but it is, in my opinion, the one that's being sold today, it is a little bit overpriced for what it offers. I associate this fragrance with cold uh, temperatures and I associate this fragrance with a man in a suit. Uh, this, guys, is a perfect unisex, in my opinion. I will talk a little bit about this one and then I will give you the alternative, okay? Because I got you. Um, this one, when it comes to women pulling this one off, if you're in a I don't want to be bothered with anything mood, watch me from the distance but don't come and talk to me you wear this one okay this is such a beautiful patchouli fragrance oh my gosh patchouli with dark chocolate with mm, with some flower touches but like dark flowers you know this is not bright this is not light in any way this is very dark cold and opulent and it has an instancy vibe going around you know i love this one i love 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 this one but i wear this one when i want to feel powerful when i want to feel confident you know when i want to feel like opulent i choose this one for those of you who don't want to uh, pay black orchid money because like i said it is a little bit or should i say very overpriced for what it offers today um i have a combo for you i'm talking about uh oud 24 hours by ardal zafran mixed with alanek um Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I forgot how the one is called. Basically, guys, I have a decant of this one. It's in my decant collection, but I will not go and look for that one. I, oh, by the way, I have a review in which I compared this uh, Black Orchid with U24 Hours by the Zafran. Yeah, this one, guys, mixed with this one. This one as a base, this one on top. Put this one on clothes, put this one on clothes, this one on clothes as well. And you will smell like black orchid and everybody will think you are wearing black orchid. And it might even be stronger than the black orchid that's being sold today. If you layer these two. This one on its own fades very fast, tone downs very fast, tones down very fast. But it's still beautiful, guys. By the way, if you are scared or like if you don't like the patchouli black orchid, the patchouli in this one is very wearable. Basically, guys, if I were to tell you this took the most enjoyable and uh, representative notes of black orchid, they've put it into a fragrance on uh they've put it into a fragrance of their own you know so it has the dna of black orchid but it's very wearable now guys let's move on to another fragrance from natafa oh my gosh so many fragrances from natafa guys uh this one is called amir al oud this is the intense version now this one is for those who want something that's strong but not really strong you know like you want something that's out there but not too much out there this one it's a unisex that leans i don't even think it leans on the feminine side it's a perfect unisex honestly i mean if you're a man and you like sweet fragrances you will enjoy this one for sure mm, it's beautiful wood that's a little bit medicinal a little bit woody vanilla and a lot a lot a lot of sugar in this one yeah it's beautiful and i would advise you to check this one out if you want something neutral to layer on top basically this is perfect for layering guys uh, performance for this one on my skin it's not the best on clothes i get a full day wear but the thing with performance on skin guys it's very subjective you know so this is why sometimes i don't even mention it but i feel like on a man it will last way better and i have spoken with people who get like seven to eight hours on skin from this one so keep that in mind check out this one uh if you're interested in this one look up my review i talk a lot about this one i talk a lot more about this one in that video another fragrance guys that it would be perfect for this time of the year and it will be perfect for men and for women um is this one by guerlain this is called santal royal i don't think this is for everybody uh but i think this is a beautiful fragrance if you like the note of rose if you like leather if you like wood if you like sandalwood and if you like um the smell of cigars like if you like that ashy cigar like smell you will absolutely love this fragrance to me this is very opulent this is very out there this is powerful guys but this is also mysterious i think some of you i mean typically 
I would say I would say that this leans more on the masculine side because of that ashy cigar smell. But if you are if you were to ask me personally, this is a unisex. I mean, I could easily wear this, and I don't feel like a man when I wear it. You know, I feel like a very confident woman. So. To me this is a unisex but keep in mind it all comes down to what you are used to in general you know i wore this one when i went out with my girlfriend once and let me think how many hours did it last mm. now on my skin i have to be very honest i don't remember how much it lasted but on clothes it lasted the full day but um at a certain point i did feel the need to refresh refresh reapply this one i mean it's strong like it's strong strong but i don't think it's cloying strong or i don't think it's like a um it's not like red tobacco kind of strong guys honestly but it's a beautiful scent uh i cannot wait to wear this one in the winter again if you're a man i would honestly say this one is more for special occasions or maybe date night or maybe like um with a suit it's very elegant guys, it's very opulent, it's very out there, but it's very beautiful. Now guys, uh, we've come to the last fragrance of the video. This fragrance, even though it is typically marketed towards women, I think this is a perfect unisex fragrance. But you need to have a specific taste to appreciate this fragrance, in my opinion. I don't think this is for everybody, but then again, all of these fragrances that I have showed you are not for everybody. They're not... Um, easy reach or like safe blend by you know this one guys is called Masque Mysterio and it is by Miguelet now um, I'm very sorry for my bottle I do have other three bottles <laughs> three yeah I think I have three I do have other bottles guys that look way more beautiful than this this is the fragrance that I have the most backups of and this one i just love it now i don't even know where to spray it keep in mind guys if you spray this one on light fabrics it will stain because the liquid i you can you see this color yeah it will stain your white clothes so don't spray it on white clothes but for me because i mostly wear black i can usually easily spray it all over me you know this one guys makes me think of the desert the desert on a hot hot day it's very dry it's very warm it's very spicy it's a little bit animalic now when it comes to the performance for me it's not an issue i get a full day wear with this one keep in mind when i say a full day wear i mean on clothes as well guys i never just spray my fragrances on my skin i have this habit of spraying them in my hair on my clothes everywhere you know so i get a full day wear but keep in mind that i, I have spoken with some of you and um some of you actually told me that you don't get an amazing performance from this one so i'm just letting you know keep that in mind okay when it comes to the scent I have never came across anything like this. This is animalic, but in the best way possible. This is dry like the desert, you know, challenging almost, or like, how to say, like, like I said, even though it is marketed for women, I feel like a confident man could easily pull this one off. Dry, grounded spices, a blast of them with a touch of animalic that goes all throughout the fragrance. It's very, like, how to say, like, very raw, it's very in your face, you know? It's not a, um, this is not generic. This was not made for, you know, like an easy sell, you know? This was made for those who appreciate these sort of fragrances. I have no idea how long this video was, guys. I am so afraid to edit it and see that I have, like, what, 40 minutes of footage? <laughs> Uh, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. These are just some of my favorite fragrances that I will be wearing a lot this autumn season. I try to show you those that are challenging but still wearable because I do have some that are like very strong. I mean, for, for me, they are not wearable. I mean, I wouldn't wear them, but I like them, you know. Uh, so I try to keep in mind that they're wearable but still strong and powerful. Um, that they perform very well. All of these on me perform very well, guys. I don't have a problem with the performance with all of these. If I were to exclude the performance factor, I would have showed you other fragrances as well, but I wanted to show you those fragrances that usually perform well and let me know what are some of your favorite fragrances that you will be wearing out this winter. Who knows, maybe uh, I might get inspiration from you. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. 
Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram if you want to. I will link it up here. If you want to tell me anything, please put it in the comment section down below and I promise that I will get back to you. But yes, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys. Mwah.